Call him a waste collector. Call him a garbage man. To Carlo Hood, it's all the same. I'm a garbage man. I, I got pride in it. I mean, I even got a tattoo of a garbage truck. And what he does is essential. I mean, if this isn't getting picked up, who, who else is going to pick it up? But the pandemic has changed what he loves to do in just about every way. From the face masks and extra gloves and sanitizer to his daily route. The home garbage, it's... I mean, it's skyrocketed. In fact, waste collection companies in the city and around the country have had to completely change their routes to adjust to this whole new world of remote working. With people staying at home, waste collection is moving routes away from closed businesses who were shuttered and focusing more on residential areas where Flood Brothers has seen a 25 to 30 percent increase. And what they're seeing in those areas is different, too, starting with parking. Alleys. It's my main road every day. People are parked on the corners. And with people staying at home. They're getting more deliveries, which means more boxes. They're ordering online, so they don't break them down. They just chuck them right out the window door. It says those boxes that aren't being broken down, they take up space, meaning waste bins are overflowing more than usual. Piles up, stuff's all over, like the bag with the diapers. Diapers, face masks, tissues, you name it, he's seen it all still on the ground in front of him. People aren't tying their garbage bags. So now I'm getting exposed to it. And during a pandemic, the stakes are higher with exposure too. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a human being and I just want to get home in one piece like everybody else. And it's not just restaurants that are taking a financial hit from all of this. On top of the ways that the pandemic is impacting waste collection efforts, it's also impacting them economically too. Flood Brothers tells me that some of their clients who used to pay within 30 days are now asking for extensions between 60 to 90 days. Some of them aren't paying at all. Reporting from Chicago, I'm Marissa Parra with CBS 2 News.